Uh, whoops. Hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Hope you're doing well. Hey, Let's Veldek. bring Factorio to the front. How you doing? Alright, so when we last left off, we realized we were going to have to overfall, overfall? overhaul how we are going to do this, uh, these cargo landing pads. Um, most of them, we're just going to do one resource. Um, for now, I might actually just get this coal out of the way. Doing great, it's Friday, nice. Uh, my work week kind of just started, so I can't entirely relate for the moment. I kind of want to move this thing. Um, but first, I feel like setting up the science. Um, I did have a little bit of a play around outside of the stream to figure out how this is going to work. It's not too difficult. Um... It, w it is very difficult if we want to, like, send pretty much even amounts of each resource if everything's empty and, like, balance it based on how much we need of each resource. But it's not difficult at all if we're just going to send one resource at a time. Which is obviously going to bottleneck on... Uh, just one uh, stack filter inserter at a time. That's unfortunate, but have I actually run out of... No, I haven't. Uh, we're going to bottleneck on one stack inserter at a time, but it should be okay for a while, at least. And maybe we'll come up with something more clever. Eventually, maybe we'll just use a lot of cargo landing pads. I've just resumed my rocket signs on New Space Station. Nice. Hey, young Jesus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've been thinking about not bothering to count um, the number of uh, cargo parts. Where is it? Uh, oh. Uh, cargo rocket sections and uh, space capsules on the sushi belt because they're just going to go straight to a cargo rocket silo as soon as quick uh, as soon as possible but on the other hand it's no trouble to count them and we may want or need to find out how much is on the belt at some point just woke up, yet still feel like crap. I think I'm a bit sick. Uh, hope, you, hope you feel better. You're doing fine. 27.69 is the magic number on your side. 27.69. I wonder what that could be. Uh, anyway. I remember why I didn't want to tear this up just yet. But, well, maybe we'll keep these ones for multiple items, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Insert a throughput with max size. The That one inserter will move over 1,500 items in a minute. As promised, a work lurk, a NG. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so yeah, I think... Oops. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, there go the rest of the cargo rocket sections. Uh, I didn't realize my inventory was this full. Let's go do something about that. Samsa, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
Uh, I have been looking into uploading the VODs to the YouTube. Um, turns out there's a way to do it that doesn't involve me actually downloading them. So probably, probably uh, get the first one published after this stream. All right, so my inventory is still full. Um, all right then. How about that? Super idle? What? Um, how many of these can we fit here? Another five. What was I going to do? I'm actually kind of confused. Uh, what are we doing? I want to get science working first and foremost. We've got a bunch of uh, rocket science up here. So we may as well get that sorted. That is a lot of stuff still in this cargo landing pad. I may have to... Well, I f why why am I carrying all this spiked steel wall up here? That seems like a terrible idea. Okay. Oh, that's right. It was probably... I wonder if it had something to do with picking up the cargo rocket silo. Did the bots take it away? I think they did. Could you bring it black? Bring it back, please. Um, right about here, I guess. Oh, actually, I think they can reach if I want them to put it directly next to the belt. So let's do that. Minus nine ninety nine social credit points. Okie dokie. What are we doing? Where... Uh... Where did our cargo rocket silo go? It's definitely not in... Our inventory. There's like one... No, okay, there's a handful of storage chests. Is it in here? Let's do a requester. No, we've got no logistic bots here. Unless I've got some on me. Where could it have gone? Wait, did I have a... I didn't have, like, a blueprint of it lying around, right? A ghost, that is. Let's try putting it over here and see if a bot starts bringing it. This is... a mystery. I'm sure there are no more storage chests other than these ones. I thought my bots picked it up, but maybe there's a bot in flight somewhere. It doesn't look to be the case. What is going on? Okay, let's confirm there's only four uh, storage chests in this area. Yep, there's there's only four of them. I am not seeing it. I hope the silo didn't drop on the belt. On the belt? I don't think that... Oh, it's right there. What the hell? <laughs> what? Well, that led us to finding it. Thanks, uh, Samsa. Why did it do this? Okay. 
So silo maybe goes here. We would have a filter inserter. Hey, I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I do wish there was a way to uh, priority split certain items in whatever direction, but not like a strict filter. But as it is, we'll just have to do this. And this is going to be... I think we're going to need two filter inserters for this. Unfortunately. So they're both going to connect to this. A mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what is it called? Space capsule. Provided that space capsule... Why am I typing it? I know exactly where to find it. Uh, is it equal to zero? Let's say less than one. And then... Over here, we're going to do... Cargo, rocket section. Oh, I wanted to have... Is it too late? I could do a long arm here. Here I want to put um, compact cargo rocket sections directly into this thing. Um, we'll have another filter inserter. Stack size doesn't matter for these, they only stack to one. But I'll put this here, and we're going to have the opposite condition from this one. Instead of, it has to be less than 100, it's going to be, has to be greater than or equal to 100. So once we've got this rocket ready to launch, We'll start putting the rest of the cargo rocket sections in uh, in their stack form. A hey, evil plug. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then, to be honest, I could just wait. What am I going to do with all of the extra space capsules? We can't recycle them, right? I think I re remember finding a recycler over here. Here it is. Recycling facility. So what can we do with this? We can... Oh, we actually can. That's, uh, that's good. It makes solar panels, accumulators, heat shielding... Maybe we should do this on the ground. Except then all of the space capsules are going to take up an entire stack. It's still going to take quite a while before we send one of these back downstairs. Uh, so yeah, I think... I think we'll do this recycling on the ground. Um... Can't use productivity modules for that, unsurprising. Uh, Chronic Bud, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I also wanted to check something. Um, can we use productivity? We cannot. Okay. So that tells us that, as I suspected, um, we can't use any productivity modules in space unless you count the space science lab which actually lets us use quite a lot so that's going to be that i think i think we'll actually just put as many of these in the cargo rocket silo as we like
Um, in the case of this particular cargo landing pad, we'll skip the sushi belt. So, cargo rocket sections, and no, if we do that, if we do that, then we'll go over a hundred. We'll, okay, we'll just put it on the belt. So we'll connect it to the green wire because we're adding to the belt. Read hand contents pulse. Uh, no enable disable, no set filters. And that's going to be that. Uh, we also want to... It's going to be a bit hard to see, I think. That's not so bad. Uh, read hand contents pulse from these three. And that's going to be subtracting. We're also going to need to connect uh, liquid rocket fuel to this thing. Not too worried about that for now. Space capsule, cargo rockets, cargo, that's going to be all of it. Okay. Next, we want to move our science that we've already got. Um, that's actually not as bad as I th thought. We can do that in a few trips if we put some stuff in chests. Quite a lot of stuff in chests, actually. Okay. Give to me all of these, please. Whoops. It's not going to take very long at all. I think I calculated this already, but... Yeah. Uh, 48 times 11 is just enough chests for a full cargo rocket of each science type. Um, didn't mean to take that just yet, but sure, why not? And... Trash slots are full as well. Is that everything? Fantastic. Take that also. I don't know if I have room for the rest of these, definitely not. But we can fit like half of them, it looks like. How big is our... Where did I put it? Our science lab. Oh, here it is. It is seven tiles. That's pretty good. And apparently I have... Oh, that's right. The rest of the stack inserters are over there. I'll shove all of these in here for now. That doesn't go there. Um, for now, I think I'll just put this here. Grab some stuff back. And oh, thank you, box. Chuck that in there. And we're actually out of red signs. So I think what we'll do here is well, whatever we do, it's going to involve setting up a transmitter. I might just put it here, or here. 
I just realized the wire is going to connect down the bottom left of this thing. I can't use this one, it's already got two wires on it. This is going to look bad almost no matter what I do. I feel like. We could probably use this uh, substation right here. That's not as bad. Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, Navis Orbit Science. Same name for this one. And down on the ground, we will want... Uh, well, we definitely want to change the way that one works, so... I might just move that one. Um, I would like to use the cargo rocket that is already full of a lot of science and closest to the science products. So we'll put this here. Maybe. I never noticed it draws the lines to the um, robopods. I wonder why that is. Okay, let's put that there. And we'll use the existing automatic requests system. Um, and we'll feed it... Uh, I believe it's 100,000. 500 times 200... 100,000. We're just going to read how many of each type of science we've got in all of these chests, plus uh, this thing right here, and transmit that downstairs. We should probably also read um, the hand contents of all of these inserters, otherwise the number is going to flicker in kind of an irritating fashion, although on the other hand, on the other hand we're not going to be able to see it because it's like something point something K. However, I wonder if it could cause some problems with uh, the circuitry. So we'll connect this like so. No enable disable, just read can uh, read hand contents hold. Connect like so. Uh, those can all get copied across here. And then we need to I think the quickest way is going to be a few clicks for each of these, unfortunately. Oops. None read hold. None read hold. And then connect all of these up like so. Okay, so now we know how many science packs we've got. We can send that back to... This might look better over here. Yeah, I like that better. Still got the correct name, good. Um, so we're sending that back downstairs. Albus Orbit Science. And then, uh, I should probably just build this circuit up here, and then we'll copy-paste it downstairs. What happened to my filters? Probably swapping from power armor happened to my filters. 
Okay. So we want to say... Uh... There's no way to say each equal to zero, because a zero is a complete lack of a signal. But what we can do is say each equal to one. Um, and then we put a constant combinator. And say one of each type of signs. And that's how we know we have zero of something using a each. So for each thing equal to one, output uh, one, and then we'll multiply that by 100k. Uh, that's going to connect there. And actually, Maybe we should just send it like that. Should we send what we have from orbit with the signal transmitters, or should we send what we're requesting? If we send what we're request, blah, 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 requesting, uh, we reduce the amount of circuitry down here, which is already a lot. So maybe let's do that. In which case, we're going to disconnect this wire. Um, just want to figure out the layout. Well, we can change it with picker dollies anyway. We will definitely bring these down here somewhere. And this one is each times 100,000. We could probably change it so that instead of waiting for absolute zero of some resource, we wait for, I don't know, less than a thousand or something. Each less than one k, And that is red and green, actually. Okay. So then, uh, rotate this. Bring this over to where the substation can touch it. That is actually slightly upsetting. The way that reaches. I guess I can live with it being snug up against this thing. Otherwise we need another sub. And then this goes here. If we're going to do it like this, I think I would prefer something like that. And then we just change that wire. That's much better. Alright, so anything less than 1k output 100,000 as a request. And then downstairs, we just turn this off, connect this to here. That's going to look terrible. I could maybe move this later on, but we'll see. Okay. So now we're looking for nothing but red signs. How do you move stuff like that? Uh, the mod is called Picker Dollies. So most items I can move, I can't move this. Um, but if you just point at it, hold shift and start pressing the arrow keys by default, you can move things around. You can also, um, there's a key to rotate the long inserters as well. Uh, but yeah, the mod is called Picker Dollies. Hey, King, uh, King Fner, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so I think this is actually 
almost finished. Um, all we need to do is set this one to target uh, Nervous Orbit Science. And then launch on cargo full. Implicit in the launch conditions, if it's going to launch automatically, is that this has to be empty. So we don't have to worry about that, and we do have to have storage to make sure there's um, there's nothing left in this uh, cargo landing pad. Oh, I should probably... Before the rocket comes... Well, I think for now I'm happy enough to have the counter for the sushi belt be over here. If we have to change it, we have to change it, and I do know how to do that um, without losing the values of what's on the belt. So as soon as we end up with zero military science packs, we should see a rocket launch. It's going to be uh, red science first. Oh wait, we have to, we have to swap out all of the science packs that are, what? Oh, did it just, wait, what? I think it just launched with a bunch of other resources because it was full. That's normally not going to happen. I left it with like 12k of, or 16k of each science pack. Uh, that might be a slight issue. Rip. Yeah, rip indeed. Yep, there it goes. Variety science. Um, so away go our uh, cargo rocket sections onto the sushi belt. They'll come back around here, get put in this one, and none of them are going to get turned into stacked components just yet. Speaking of which, I might just get rid of the ones I have. Can I do this? There we go. So that is obviously going to take a while to drain. Um, it should actually be fine. So currently we are not requesting anything, because we've got at least 1,000 of each science pack. And research continues. Nice. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Use productivity modules. How dare you? That's my fault, obviously. We could probably stand to have some more labs, maybe? I wonder how quickly we're consuming these. We're definitely consuming some things faster than others, I th think. Actually, I could be wrong. No, they're all the same. Um, rate calculator, go. Zero point, just under 0 0.1 per second. I th I think even if we're only sending up one type of science pack at a time, a um, hundred thousand times ten, so a million seconds, that is at least five minutes. I think we can, I, I think we can bear to add a few more labs over here. So let's make a few. I need... Oh, it has to be in the space manufacturing. And I need LDS. I need 30 more labs. Wow. Okay. What do I need now? Burner lab. And small electric motors. I think this can wait, actually. Um, yeah, I think I might need some more stuff from downstairs. Producti productivity modules for are pretty easy to make early on. That's a good point. 
I've yet to dive into space exploration. How are you enjoying it? Is this your first playthrough? First playthrough of space exploration, yes. And it is a lot added to vanilla. But if you're a fairly experienced player, um, it's like... It's almost like being new at the game again, only not. Um, because right from the start of the game, some of the production chains are significantly different. Uh, inserters are a good example of that. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it, uh, unless you're like a new player or something. If you've played through the vanilla game uh, at least once, then it's probably worth checking out. Definitely if you've played through it multiple times. Uh, TY guy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... That's weird. Space cap... Oh, we got our space capsule. Okay, cool. I think the next thing I would like to do in terms of setting up cargo landing pads is something in the rail block system that we've got on Nalvis. Um, because we don't really have that much space, oddly enough, uh, with these builds. P particularly because the signal receiver is so damn big. Hey, Dune. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? Hey, so JMO. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can go down to one tab now. Okay. Um... Should we go back to Nalvis and build that stuff on the ground, or... I was thinking about doing cannons. I just need concrete to make some more delivery cannon chests. I want to see what the throughput is like. Pretty sure we've got some concrete left over. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. Here we go. And then I don't know if we're going to need multiple of these for one resource, but it's probably worth doing for all of the resources we can do it with. Now that we know that we're going to be splitting up, we're going to be using a cargo landing pad for almost every single resource, except science is a bit of an exception. A Royal PS2K. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. We were trying the Dune mod. It's hard. Hmm. What do you do in the Dune mod? I don't suppose Rate Calculator tells us anything about... Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Can we connect Circuit Wire to... We can. Okay. Collect Spice. Okay then. Would be boring if it was too easy, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so... What's our target? Um, well, there's a lot of space on this sushi belt. For now, let's just say... 2,000 iron plate. And I want to get a feel for just how quickly we can get this up here. We'll just go with one delivery cannon chest for now. Well, I'm sure we can get it as quickly as we like. Actually, now that I think about it... Um, okay, we can easily fit enough stack inserters to, to saturate the belts. Um... And we can have multiple cannon... I, I presume we can have multiple cannons aiming at the delivery cannon chest. 
It can store 40 stacks. That's, uh, that's a lot. Okay. I need a substation. Give to me my substations, please. Why are they over here? Substation. I was going to test this with our delivery cannon that we've already got set up over here. But... It doesn't make a lot of sense if we're trying to test how fast this can go. Uh, actually, I think what I might do, just quickly, is... Can I not... Okay. Uh, okay. Rotate E for a moment, please. Change the target. Target is this one. And we're just doing iron plate. Okay, as soon as that gets to 100, it should uh, shoot over here. Before it does that, I want to... Hmm. Too late. That was quick. Um... So it looks like, effectively, the iron plate just appears in the chest. And there's no other things we need to worry about. Read belt contents pulse. Um, just for the moment. Let's make a bunch of these at the end of the iron plate bus. And realize that we won't have the cannon shells. Um, why don't we put... Oh, are we making these somewhere, or did we just have them left over? I don't know that we're making them anywhere. Oh, here we are. Nope. Okay, well, we've got a bunch available for testing. Why don't we just do it like this? That's actually... We can fix that. Two, three, about four, five, six. Put another RoboPort over here. Uh, substations. Bring some of these belts down. I didn't place that as well as I thought. Stack inserters. Go. Request chests. And once those chests get here, we'll give them some requests. Hot rush, please. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, ben. And Ben. Red Rafe just started updating it. What's that? Oh, the uh, Dune mod? I think that part is bugged. The goal is to get as many stone bricks as possible and play Etch-A-Sketch on land to secure land surrounding worms. That sounds accurate. I recently destroyed 20k red circuits and a few buildings with delivery chest and got overloaded. RIP. Worms being stopped by bricks. You have to make the delivery capsules somewhere for your automated destruction setup. Yeah, well, those are not in the same RoboPort network. Those are being produced over here, belted. Um, but we should have a handful of K 
capsules. Why can't I? Oh, because I went to the map. We should have a handful of capsules available. Let's just go like five each. And over here. These already have the uh, target set. We're already at 600. Okay. I just want to confirm, and I'm pretty sure I can confirm, that on this end, all it takes, yeah, one delivery cannon, ch uh, delivery cannon chest is going to be all it takes to saturate a belt. That is pretty good. Okay. I think we can stop this experiment for the moment. Let's uh, get you guys to calm down for a minute. In that case, well, I need to check what delivery cannon recipes there are. Uh, I know there are other ways to do it, but, well, actually, let's use FNEI. Delivery cannon. Oh. Okay, actually, I think I will just make... Let's just take this delivery cannon right here. And check all the recipes. Stone brick, concrete, iron, copper, steel, glass, plastic. So everything that can be smelted, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like if it comes out of a furnace or the ground, it can be put in a delivery cannon capsule. Also ice. Coal and ice. I guess there's no reason to have a, a rocket to send that as well. So it's really just the more advanced... We can send LDS up here. Really. Actually, if we're, if we're putting things onto a sushi belt, uh, technically we could... We could set up a bunch of delivery cannons to only fire under two conditions. The delivery cannon chest has to be empty or below a certain number of things. And... The sushi belt has to have less than the desired amount of items. That could work. So it's really quite a lot of stuff. Uranium, that's processed. It's really quite a lot of stuff we can send by even heat shields. Huh. I should probably... Okay, I'm getting ideas. What if we transmit the contents of the sushi belt downstairs? We put the contents of the sushi belt on the circuit wire that goes across the, entri uh, the entire train network. And then whenever we make something like this... Um, a production block in the sushi train network. Uh, let me just fix my UPS real quick. Why is this not opening? Oh, there it goes. Failed to load. Okay, there we go. 
that'll help a little bit. We could have the contents of the sushi belt in orbit on the green wire, and we could have cannons wherever we make these um, production blocks, so we don't have to we don't have to add another train trip. Um, we can just send them straight into space. And then we just have to figure out how we can have an end condition of uh, the delivery cannon chest has to be empty. That's actually really easy. We can... We can say whatever's in the delivery cannon output as C or something. Put that on the, well, not on the sushi belt, but on the transmitter that's going to transmit what's on the sushi belt. And then, yeah. Uh, how do we, how do we say, if we use a logistic network, we can easily have an end, uh, two conditions on a inserter, but I don't think that's going to be the way to go about it. Omni cannon system yet? Next, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a lot easier to do than a cargo landing pad receiving dynamically lots of different items, like automatically. Um. Who said you could... Oh, I know who that is. Excuse me. This one needs to target... Here. And... And then... Uh, auto recipe. There we go. Does ice not come from the ground? Also, isn't a rocket better for mass transport than delivery cannon? Then again, cannon is more reliable. Cannon is very easy. We will have to send rockets for certain items, and what we the conclusion that we came to last time is we're going to have to have... Well, it, at the very least, it's incredibly difficult to have rockets send... Um, lots of different items, but this multi drop off onto the sushi belt system right here is actually no good because it turns out implicit in the launch trigger is that the cargo landing pad has to be empty, completely empty, not just there has to be 500 or so um, storage slots available, Nothing will automatically launch to this cargo landing pad unless it is actually empty, which means we can't use this as storage um, and, like, ask for more of something when X, Y, or Z gets low. Which means we either have to have copious storage for the resources that we're sending up here, if we're going to share... Um, if we're going to share different resources between a cargo landing pad like we're doing here. Or we would have to have, like, the cargo landing pad and then lots and lots of chests and then the sushi belt, which kind of defeats the purpose of, like, you know, saving space and stuff. So at that point, we may as well just have more cargo landing pads. But I don't... There's going to be a bunch of different things that we need to send up onto this sushi belt. So I don't particularly want to... Um, uh, I don't want to have a cargo landing pad for every single resource. So delivery cannon makes a ton of sense at this point. So the only storage would be the sushi belt itself. Yeah, that's not enough. 
Not when you're bringing 500 stacks at a time. It is a very big sushi belt, but it, it isn't uh, thousands of stacks of items big. And speaking of empty, this... What's going on here? Oh, we're not requesting anything yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So science continues to slowly trickle along. So yeah, all we need... Well, assuming we're okay with only 45 items per second, we can easily add more. But, um... Theoretically, all we need is one delivery cannon chest for all of the delivery cannon items going onto the sushi belt. That's pretty cool. What a silly username. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And a uh, nice username. I did some estimations in Discord about storage. I just need two to four chests per item delivered. I deliver over 12 items. How do you deal with uh, consuming the items at a pace that's different to the rate that you're sending them up? No worries. Okay, so... Um, there was something I wanted to... I think I would like to just go down to Nalvis and set up um, a bunch of delivery cannons now. But first, we're going to need everything that's on the sushi belt, the count of items in the delivery cannon chest. Preferably we should wait till this is zero. Otherwise, who knows, we might get some weird order of when we empty things here. Maybe I should set it up somewhere where we could have like 90 items per second being output. It's 3x3, three three, that's not going to line up very well with like the middle of the belt or anything. Um, if we... If we do something like this, where would be a good spot? I kind of want to remove this thing as well. Um, how many have we got? 16k. That's like two train loads, which is only like eight chests. Let's do it. I don't have my chests on me at the moment. Uh, I think they put them in here. Apparently I don't have any left. Here they go. Okay. It depends on what you group together in the rocket. I do sciences like you do. And also ingredients for rocket science. There's always at least three to four items consumed. What do you mean by at least three to four items consumed? I think we'll remove this one and get rid of this. We're not going to use this. So I think all we're keeping... I, I have this thing to reference if I want to rebuild this again, so uh, that's not going to be too difficult. That is our counting system. Get rid of these. Um, for the moment, get rid of all of this coal. Swarm safety is just two sciences, but other than that, check research tree to see how many sciences many science types are consumed at the same time? Oh, you mean like maximum? Well, we're only going to be sending six 
types of science uh, from the ground. The rest we're going to be making up here, right? Oh, this is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not as many as I thought. I mean, if we... Two, three, four, five... If we consider all of the different types of science pack... Science pack... That is a lot. Wow. So there's four different types. Uh, 16, 20, 21, plus 6, 27. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we're building a base to do that. Surprising how long this is taking. But yeah, I think if we... Make another one of these. Not necessarily doing it that way. Oh, I didn't make a... Uh... Create copy, upgrade items from blue belt to sp It doesn't let me upgrade from blue belt to space belt. How rude. Alright, we'll just copy paste this. I don't know about the prioritizing the side in this instance, but we could have a couple of cannons like so. That's not necessarily going to do 45 items per minute, but as long as nothing is in the way. Well, actually, yeah, it's going to prioritize input from the outside. So that should be fine. This is on the outside, inside. Okay, that looks good. Um, but then I need two different targets for all of the cannons. I don't want to have to manage that. We'll just do one delivery cannon chest. And if we really want to scale things up later, we'll do different cannon chests for um, different resources. But 45 items per second shouldn't be that bad, especially for the base that we're planning here. So I guess we will just do it like that. Um, we'll get ourselves another signal transmitter. Uh, we're not going to put C onto the sushi belt, so that's going to be a red wire. That goes there. And we'll call this Sushi Nervous Orbit Sushi. Cool. Oh. And I think I would like to go back to Nervous for the moment. We did get science automated, so that's something. Well, we did a lot while we're up here, but this session we've done a lot of thinking. But that's what we actually physically got done. Um, I don't really feel like worrying too much about this stuff. I'll just leave the space belt up here. And the cargo landing pads. And the capsule. I'll take the capsule back, actually. Well, I'll use the capsule here. Um, get rid of that. Is that a single piece of iron? How did this happen? That's a little bit odd. I guess I'll take that home as well. Nice little souvenir. Um, should I leave this random beryllium plate here or what? I don't think there's anything I particularly want to 
take back. Oh. This stuff is all useless. In space. Okay, I'll leave the rest. Back to Navis. You still got space underground and splitters. You always pull multiple earth sciences from chests. Multiple earth sciences? See how many earth sciences are consumed at the same time. Uh, most of them? The advanced space science quickly gets pretty insane. Yeah, I'm sure. That's five at a time. There's probably at least one thing that consumes six, but most of the time it's three. This one's five. And this one's five. Looks like it caps out at five, maybe. Okay. So, get some of this out of my inventory, please. Um, I also want to expand the wall now that we've got the new wall design. Although, I don't know if I automated um, artillery turrets or not. We'll soon find out. Don't need any signal transmitters here. I accidentally brought some extra stuff back. Whoops. Whoops. Oh well. It's fine. It's probably fine. Oh, I did automate artillery turrets. Fantastic. Um, here would be the obvious place to try it. But I'm more excited about getting the cannon set up, uh, the delivery cannon. So I think that's already totally fine. We need a receiver. And, well, let me just go pick one up physically. Like so. We need to connect this to our rail network. Right about here. Or somewhere. And why is this? Oh, I see. Uh, now this or a bit sushi. Fantastic. Okay. So let's just double check this. Uh, each times one from the delivery cannon chest. And it's outputting C. So if there's anything in the delivery cannon chest, it's going to send C to this thing. And then we say, what's a good spot to get started here? I wish I hadn't used quite as much space. Um, we could do it here. Yeah, let's get a cannon. Oh, but then we need the capsules themselves. Maybe we should have drop-off stations for these resources and have all of the cannons in one place. That might be a good idea. It's either it's either that or we have a cannon in a spot like this at the end of the production line at each rail block and then we need a train to bring cannon capsules every time. Which might not be the worst thing. Hey, Imau. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Omni cannon setup incoming. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. 
we already did it on a very small scale over here. Um, I guess let's do it again. Except if it's in the train network, that's kind of a lot of train stations. Well, no, it only has to be one train station because of LTN, but we need storage for... We need at least four chests of storage for each different resource. That might not actually be a problem at all. Okay, where should we... This looks good. I kind of want to put more Omni smelters up there, but did we stop smelting? There's no iron, that's why. And down here we're making glass. Um, we're pretty full on glass over here. Uh, over here, I mean. So that's why we're not making it this, this one. Okay. I think we do have enough smelters for now. We just need to get more actual iron. In which case, this is a fine location for... Oh, we could also move some of the solar panels. That might be a good idea. But I think I'll make a new rail block up this way. Omni Cannon was I Am Sark's idea. Can you do it at the trash destroying block? Instead of destroying items, send them into space. Um, the only items we're destroying at the trash block is uh, like copper, stone, and theoretically coal and iron, but that never happens. Um, I don't want to, I don't really want to smelt that stuff in space. For one thing, we can't use productivity modules, but for another thing, it's just a bit more of a nuisance. Um, I want to send more refi uh, more refined products into space. Unless there's, un unless we find a recipe in space that requires like raw copper or iron, um, I don't think I want to change that. It's not wasting resources though. We we literally can't make more iron until we get rid of like the extra stone and copper. Unless we continuously make extra storage forever for all of the stone and copper that we don't need. It's not wasting, it's optimizing storage. Yeah, that's 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 right. Okay, let's actually put our power armor on. And luckily it's already fully charged. I didn't even see this cliff. So yeah, all we're going to do, I think, is... Well, we can either have a lot of cannons with different recipes, or we could have... Where, where did I put it? Uh, we can set recipes with a crafting combinator. If I use belts to supply all the different resources, we're probably going to run out of space pretty quickly. We'll see. In the meantime, I need to go back and get some more rail and some cannons. Pick this stuff up. There's quite a lot to place besides the rail itself. Nope, oh, that's intersections for you. Alright, back we go. Yeah, I might just make a small bot network. Um, where we're going to do the cannon thing, because... Well, we'll see. 
there's only so many recipes. Um, maybe it's not going to be that bad. If we do like a half belt for each resource going to the cannons, maybe it's not going to be so bad. I do want at least like eight cannons. Which is probably super overkill, which is fine and good. Speaking of which, don't forget to pick up the cannons this time. Um, and I think we'll make the... We'll probably make the cannon shells locally, just like we're doing over here. Uh, which would imply copying all of this, but I guess that's fine. So yeah, um, I think a decent amount of space is going to be required just to filter out all the things that we might be sending up. We're not going to be sending scrap. Fuel is a possibility. I can't remember, can we turn solid rocket fuel into processed fuel? Um, because if we can, I was going to say we may as well do it in space, but we can't place this in space. How else do we make, um, processed fuel? Literally just the one... Oh, here we go. Yeah, no. You can only make it on the ground. Is there any reason we need processed fuel in space? Or more to the point, do I not want to build this so that it can be extended to be used for anything later on? Yes, you can turn rocket fuel into uh, fluid fuel. Okay. Except you can't do it in space. I don't think we're going to need processed fuel in space. But I would rather build for it than find out later that we need it. You can with a fuel refinery? Okay. How do I... If any, I doesn't think so. What's that other one? How do I make another... Okay, processed... Processed fuel. Add recipe? Okay. And then... How... Edit this recipe. No? I think it might only be... Let's try this. Iron gear wheel. Click this thing. Okay, this is how we change what type of thing we're building it in. So processed fuel, uh, it's literally only fuel processor. I haven't found a need for processed fuel in space though, that seems good. I had hoped you would return to sanity, but instead you're still using abomination hand drive? I thought I corrected you. <laughs> hey West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you actually think I'm going to, like, reverse all of the signaling in this entire base? I think you'd have to offer me enough for retirement for me to do that. Yes, you need to. 
No, thank you. Okay, uh, for starters, let's just copy this side. Uh, not that stuff. Just this. And I guess that's going to go over there. Use electrical circuits to auto-switch it for you. Auto-switch it? What do you mean? I don't think there's a way to use circuits to uh, change the placement of all the rail signals. Shift delete the map in your save game folder. Scrap the map, start over and do it right this time. No, I don't think I'll do that. Thanks, thanks though. Okay, so this is all stuff that we need for the cannon shells. Get rid of that. And that. And that. And then this station over here is going to be a drop-off of other resources. Let me just copy this for a second. Okay, RoboPort's on. Shift delete. Uh, replace factory with Burger King done. Yes. Now I'm hungry. I'm not asking for it to be done my way, I'm demanding it's done the right way. No, I think, uh, I think that's a, a subjective, actually. Actually, if anything... You could make an argument for left-hand drive, because the signals are nice and snug in the middle. Usually you don't want signals sticking out. Who gets to determine if it's right? Yeah. By what empirical metric? All right, so this is going to be our little cannon shell factory again. And here we would request... I'm actually not going to lie, I'm slightly bothered by the rocks and trees over here. And the cliffs. Okay. We could easily have, um, what are you doing here? Wait, what? No. What are you doing? What? What? No. Where, where do you think... That's probably fine, but... Oh, I know what happened. I didn't get rid of this constant combinator. This one requested copper plate. Um, the tracks haven't been built yet, so there's no path to here. And this train went to the temporary stop. And then went to the nearest station with that name. And now it's not going to be able to unload, because this stuff is too full. So what I'm going to do is bring it back here for a minute. Oh, we still don't have the signals? Question mark? Uh, I thought we had the signals here. Oh, there's a little bit of track missing. There we go. Okay. Could you please come over here, wait until empty, and be on your way. Your factory isn't wrong, the community is. 
Yes. The devs for Factorio said it is supposed to be right-hand drive. Um, I'm a little skeptical on that. If you have to maintain the signal, it's safer to not have to cross the tracks on a place where the signals are not working. I'm not sure if I understand. Also, I've run out of uh, steel chests, so let's go get some. You can find the posts on the Factorio forums where they say... That sounds like work. Let's go a little bit faster. And... I was going to go back, but bots have a lot to give me. The devs are checked, so right-handed drive is a given. Then why did they make it so the signals are nice and snug in the middle if it's left-hand drive? Look at this. It's like they're telling us to use left-hand drive. Alright, that looks like... everything. You want to signal on the outside so it's safer to work on them. IRL. Yeah, that makes sense. I get what you mean, what you meant earlier. Also, by the way, Heinchuk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing... Where am I going? I uh, hope you're doing well. And I th don't know if I said so for Nightstorm as well. Good to see you again. Also, welcome, welcome, Hark. How are maintenance workers going to risk life and limb for factory? Uh, that's the construction bots. Okay, um, I think we're good. I'm not entirely pleased that this is imbalanced. There we go. Oh, it actually was balanced because this is the old, um, balanced unloader. We can soon fix that. I keep forgetting to make... Um, just the inserters by themselves for this. Let's do it now. Turn RoboPot off. This goes here. Get rid of all this. And Blueprint. Uh, I forget the name I used for these. Combiless. Okay. That'll do. Okay. So this goes... That's not quite right. It's fine. Instead of connecting like so, do this. Read belt contents hold, and we're done. Fantastic. So these all just have read hand contents hold and this belt reads contents and they're all set to everything has to be equal to zero. Um, assuming that all of this stuff is balanced when it comes in, it's going to stay balanced. Same thing over here. Although those are yellow inserters. Greens are a little bit overkill here, to say the least. What's our rate on explosives for this little build? 9.75 per second. So this is fine. There we go. 
will these be served from the storage block? Uh, they could be, yeah. Let's do this again. Not that one. Copy. Paste. And paste. Fantastic. What's this? It is a storage chest. All right. We've obviously got way more space to use than we're necessarily going to. So maybe let's just do the... One way I could do this is we could easily have room for six different... Uh, 12 different types of resource in these chests alone if we use uh, filter inserters. However, that would mean we would unload the train six times slower. Which I don't think I'm a fan of, actually. So, maybe we should... I just realized... Hmm. Either we're going to need a lot of these... We're either going to have to uh, bottleneck this on one belt or we're going to need like four sets of uh, filters like this. Stone brick. Uh, since it defaults to the right side, we'll do it like this to start with. Concrete. Um, I don't foresee doing any of this stuff just yet, so we'll say glass. Although I kind of want to, how many resources are there? We're not going to do core fragments. We're not going to do these ones. Um, one, two, six, ten, eleven, not sulfur. 12, 13, 14, well, not 14, that's not going on the sushi belt. Hmm, let's find out. Let's just do stuff that we're actually going to want to put on the sushi belt, probably. So, glass, iron, copper... Steel and plastic. None of this stuff. Probably. We'll see. And... Uh, heat shielding and LDS, definitely. Heat shielding... LDS, that is already getting kind of big, if we're going to have to do it four times. Metric for the win? True. No one woke up and be like, uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, what else are we potentially... I don't think we're sending up uranium. I feel like I'm going to regret leaving some of these out. Or maybe we should use bots. I don't want to use bots. There's so much room for belts. Um... If we were to have all of these filters, one, two, three, four, let's get rid of that for a sec.
we could fit this. We actually have like one, two, eight more tiles. We could do f two more types of items if we're going to have a uh, full throughput coming out. So let's suppose that we do it this way. Um, then what? Honestly, we're probably going to use like... This is nine different belts. I'm not sure how we're going to do... Maybe we could have a giant sushi belt. I don't like that very much, necessarily. Uh, actually, if we use the... If we use circuitry to put a bunch of stuff in a chest for each delivery cannon... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do another, like... As you say, we could do an omni-cannon design. Um... It's actually starting to look like a sushi belt makes sense, because there's just too many types of resource coming in, potentially. Let's suppose we come in with a full train load of whatever resource. That is 40 stacks. Suppose we have 40 cannons, and we limit each one to one stack per resource. That's sort of like an automatic balanced loader without having them all connected to each other. Um, we could limit it to a hundred iron plate. Stack size of three potentially from the filter inserter. Actually, I'm not going to worry about going slightly over. We've got 48 stacks and like nine or ten or twelve different resources maximum. So that should be fine if we go over. However, it will also put... Well, it'll put up to a stack in... or, or maybe two stacks in each cannon while it's waiting to fire, but I'm not overly concerned about that. That's why my sub is 30 centimeters long. A smaller foot. <laughs> okay. Um, so tentatively, let's say we allow uh, about a stack of each of these resources. Wait. If we're going more than five, we can't do it this way. We need to do the infinite blacklist, which means we need two combinators for each one of these. Um, do these all stack to 100? That would be very convenient. I know sand doesn't stack to 100, but we're not going to do sand, I don't think. Or if we do, it wouldn't be a disaster, necessarily, if we allow only 100. I could be wrong about that. Let's suppose that we're just sticking with things that stack to 100. Um, these are all 100. Those are the things that I was actually intending to put in. The other thing, if we do like a sushi system or something like that, is we can easily add... We're not going to paint ourselves into a corner with like limiting what resources we can have a train bring here. Yeah, I think I like that. So, gonna need some rafting combinators behind left. Um, empty, insert his hands, keep crafting until zero. Yeah, that makes sense. 
And then for this one, we get the contents of the chest, uh, everything, each thing greater than, let's say, 97. Oh, it actually needs a full stack to send anything at all. Hmm. I don't want to set the stack size to 1. On the other hand, we'll be filling the chests up with, uh, we'll be finishing, f filling the chests up with all different kinds of resources while we're loading up just one type of resource. Oh, we also need to maybe not stack, um... Uh, delivery cannon capsules to a hundred. Maybe I'll just put that on a separate belt. There's not going to be an output belt, so it's going to be a pretty similar desi design to like a smelter row or something with one belt on this side, another belt on that side. Uh, let's see. We don't need any circuitry on this side because crafting combinator. We could have a stack filter inserter if we're doing it this way. We need to read what is in front of the stack filter. Set filters um, each times negative 10k for all of the items that we've already got enough of. So that goes... I don't think it matters as if this is a red or green wire, actually. But I feel like the, the look of it is sort of cleaner and makes more sense if we do it this way. Okay, so... Each item greater than or equal to 100 output one each, multiply by negative 10k, set filters, read what's in front of the stack inserter, and that should be it. We don't need a... We could use a constant combinator to make exceptions, because we could feed it some negative numbers if we're allowed to pick up more of something. Um, so, for example, because we're allowed to pick up... Because a stack of sand is 200, we'll say negative 100. And then when this is greater than or equal to 100, we know we've got a stack. Um, 48 stacks in a steel chest. I'm never going to use this for... Core fragments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, thirteen. Not going to do those. Uh, if we get to like twenty four items, then we could run into some problems if some of these items are overflowing and taking up more than one stack. Or maybe a little bit less because of uh, overflow items from the last recipe coming back into the chest. But yeah, given the number of different types of items that we're going to be launching in this system, I don't think we're going to have any trouble. A Zavoxifal, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now we're designing calendars? That's what I mean. I go to the US, there's a sixth, sixth time difference, which gives me jet lag. Oh, six hour time distance. Okay. A Zonix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. AM, PM is mostly okay for me, except midnight, when it's good.
All right. Days off don't apply to streamers? How dare you? Okay. I think this might be the design. Um, also, unfortunately, it, it takes up as much space as a long arm like reaching for the belt because we have to have a chest here. Um, so we can't really put, like, the capsules in the middle or something. So I think it's probably going to look something like this. Although, if we do it that way, they're going to be fighting over whatever resource is here. Um, five by five. Is that the size of the industrial smelters? Yeah, it is. I thought this looked familiar. We could always offset these a little bit. Well, not like that. Oops. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, undo doesn't bring back the um, crafting combinators, unfortunately. If this goes here... How about this? I think I like it the other way. Better. Um, like this? No. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit more. Okay. Behind right. Behind right. And then... Oh, we're not actually... We're probably not going to bother with the constant combinator. Can we maybe somehow make this more compact though we've got one two three four five six seven tiles not used in this space but if we're gonna have a chest yeah we probably can't do much better than this um if we have like a That just means it's going to get stuck. That would leave one, two, three... Four tiles for the combinators. Um, I'm pretty sure the crafting combinator has to be right up against the... Um, uh, delivery cannon. We could do it on this side. Except, no, it has to be next to the uh, overflow chest. Okay. I don't think we can make this look that much better. Slash, make it more compact. There's not really a need to. We've got a lot of space here. Alright, don't forget to put this back. Read belt contents hold. And then... Uh, we're going to have room for substations. That's nice. How's this going to look if we start copying it? Yeah, I think we're going to be able to fit way more cannons than we need here. Uh, I need to check our max rate of cannon shells from here. Uh, just under two per second. We could maybe do 
another one of these modules. Consumption is actually pretty slow. Nine copper plate, 9.75 uh, explosives per second. So we could easily... Is it half a belt for explosives? Yeah, we could double this. I kind of want to make sure I leave room to do that in that case. Um, can we maybe... Like... Flip this around or something. Have that use the same belt. Copper would have to come down here. Tentatively. Uh, what else? Oh, the explosives. That's going to be trickier. Maybe not. Explosives could come down this way. Just add a splitter to this one. So copper cable and explosives. And this belt is already these two. And what's this? Oh, so we need a splitter over here. Yeah, that's not too bad. There's obviously not room to like split this here and connect it up in the exact same way, but that's okay. All right, so that's going to give us nearly four capsules per second. And it's going to be easily fed by those train stations. Sweden does exist. Swiss cheese proves it. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Now, so this will have to be a sushi belt, right? I wonder if we could do a sort of a squiggly sushi belt. Let's do a little blueprint so that uh, we can snap to grid relative this thing. Could not really fit more like that. Maybe I'll move the whole thing over a bit. I'm not really overly fussed about using every little bit of space in this book, in any case. So belt would come from here. Maybe go... Down this way, or down this way, come back up. Surely we can fit a little bit more. If we... oh, that's only... that's only two... uh, one of those rings. So this just has to move over three times. Let's do it. There's no kill like overkill. Oh wait, how many would this be? Also, what did I accidentally delete? Um, 43. How many... How much space do we have? 40. Okay, so that is actually a bit overkill. Um, 
let's remove a few of these delivery cannons. I think anything more than like 36 is probably a bit reckless. Also, why is there nothing here? That seems a little bit odd. So this is actually 80 cannons. We do not need 80 cannons. Unless we're going to do... Well, maybe we should do a pair of delivery cannon chests. Yeah, now that we're centralizing this, we're not going to do, like, a delivery cannon or two at each production area. So we could have half of these cannons aimed at uh, one of the delivery cannon chests and half at the other. So something like... This and this. Yeah, I like where this is going. That's a really good fit as well. Anyone watching Endwalker launch tonight? What is that? Also, I should probably start looking for a stream to raid. Uh... Uh, yeah, I think I do like where this is going. So we're never going to fire the cannons unless the chests are empty. Because we just might fire all of these at exactly the same time. There's only just going to be enough room uh, in the chest to receive all of these shells. Um, I also want to check, though... How rapidly do we consume? It doesn't say. Oh, wait. Okay. What's our theoretical... Max rate of... That's a lot. Uh, 16 delivery cannon capsules per second. Realistically, we're not going to be consuming them that quickly though like not consistently over a long period we can do just under a quarter of that uh all the time i think that's going to be fine the last thing i'm wondering about is well what does this actually stack to capsule 50, I thought so. We could set it up so that this will accumulate delivery cannon capsules, uh, put, them, put them on the sushi belt, put them in the chests. And that would mean we could make this a bit more compact, not that that matters very much. Um... I mean, we're already using a sushi belt for lots of different types of items. So having, having another 20 or 40 items on the belt is actually not insignificant. We could do like double... We could do 90 item per second sushi belt if we do it this way. That might actually be better. Yeah, I think it would be. We could move this apart a little bit, put a splitter here, prioritize the output direction maybe.
All right, let's uh, let's see who else is streaming Factorio. Lucky is streaming Factorio. Why don't we stop by? All right, I think I'll do a little bit of work on this uh, off stream. I've got a bunch of ideas I want to try as well. Probably have something cooked, well, maybe have something cooked up by tomorrow. We'll see how much time I have. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions or requests, by all means, let me know. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thank you, Samsa, for dropping by, and Veldak, and everyone, for that matter. Let's drop in on Monkey, shall we? So yeah, there you go. T-Hex. Thanks for...